Command 1. Command 4. Tag 2. Hey folks, I'm Bud Talbot. I'm a ComTech from Boulder County, Colorado. And today I want to talk to you about voice enunciation for your BKR and KNG series radios. It's a pretty cool feature. It's pretty handy just to be able to spin the knob and hear what channel you're on uh, when you're wearing it on your belt. So let's head over to the slides and get started and teach you how to do this. Okay, our goals in this video are to give you an overview of voice enunciation on the KNG and BKR series of radios as you saw in the little intro video clip. We also want to be able to record and encode those voice enunciation files using res and the radio. And then we want to be able to assign those voice files to zones and or channels um, in the code plug and then be able to use those in the radio. So voice enunciation, as you saw, is an audible voice announcement that can be played by the radio when you're switching zones or channels or both zones and channels. In the intro video, I had it set just to announce the channel name when switching channels. And our general workflow for accomplishing this is that we're going to record a digital voice announcement in a WAV format outside of the radio, and we can do that in res or in some other software. Then we're going to need to use the radio to compress and encode those WAV files in the AMBI format. Uh, AMBI is Advanced Multiband Excitation, and it's what our radios use, our digital radios, to encode and decode P25 digital audio. So AMBI audio files are what the radio needs to be able to um, use. So we're going to use the radio to actually do that encoding. Then we're going to assign those desired AMBI files to zones and or channels back in res in our code plug, and then write that new code plug to the radio. So let me walk you through how to do that. First thing we need to do is create those audio files. Now, here I'm going to talk about how to do it in res. You could do part of this work outside of res, but you'll need to do um, the ambient encoding uh, back here in res. So when you're in the main screen, go up to Utilities Audio Converter, and this will pop up a dialog that's called Audio Converter. And this is where you're going to do most of your work. You can set the working directory that can store these files on your hard drive. If you're going to do a lot of these, it's nice to use something other than the default. You can record natural voice audio here in res if you like, or you can use text to speech, a basic voice synth here in res. The audio files that I used in the intro video were that text to speech option. You can select and review those files, and then finally you can convert them from the WAV format to the AMBI format. And to do that last step, you have to have your radio connected. So here's how we create those AMBI audio files. First of all, set that working directory um, if you like, and then decide if you want to record natural audio or use text-to-speech. I'd recommend using the synth text-to-speech. It's a little easier to do. It's easier to control and make sure things get encoded. I'll talk in a minute or two about some of the challenges with, uh, with saving some of these voice files as AMBI files. So using the synth is going to be easier. Then when you're in that text-to-speech dialog, uh, you type in the audio, uh, the, the, the words that you want to be uh, converted in an audio file. There are a couple of options for synth voices there um, of male and a female voice, like type out command one and then record it. Under select and review, you can listen to that WAV file to verify the contents. It's not always going to come out how you want, so sometimes you have to experiment with that. And then finally, you're going to con connect your radio, KNG or BKR, and then select that WAV file under the select thing and then in the convert tab click convert and what's going to happen is your radio will take that wave file and convert it to an ambi file and that ambi file will be saved back on your computer in that directory that you set up here under set directories so it's a process of creating the wave file on the computer letting your radio convert it to ambi and then it gets written back to that directory as an ambi file so you have both the wave version and the ambi version in that directory next steps we need to do are assign those voice channels uh, voice files to zones and or channels um, in res so the best way to do this i think is to use the multi-channel view so make sure under view you do channel view selection multi-channel 
so you can see all your channels in the zone that you're interested in. Change to the zone of interest, and then to assign voice to a particular channel, select the voice file for that channel under Voice Announce. So you'll see there's a drop down here, and you can see all the different AMBI files. You won't be able to select the WAV files here, you can only select the AMBIs, and these are the ones that I have on my hard drive in that directory. And so for Command 1, I selected the one CMD1. And you can see for others down there for TAC6, I had TAC6.AMBE. So select the appropriate file there. If you want to have a voice announcement when you switch zones, then you can go under zone settings when you're in the zone and under voice enunciation, select the AMBI file that you want to announce when you change to that zone. So for example, in this case, uh, pipeline fire, I had a, 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 a file called pipeline.ambe and I could select that to announce when I change to that particular zone which was our zone for that fire. Okay, a couple of important caveats here. Um, the big one is some recorded WAV files won't encode well as AMBI files, so they won't encode at all. You record a WAV file, you'll try to get it to convert to AMBI, and it just won't do it. And you won't know it won't do it, other than the fact that it won't show up in your directory. Uh, you'll be wondering where the AMBI file is. And that, to the best of my knowledge, is because some WAV files just aren't going to be encoded because of the properties of that WAV file. I've messed with this before with some radios outside of the BK line with some Kenwoods and experience the same thing. If there are too many syllables in the file, if the range of speech is too great, um, if the frequency range is too great, then they can't be encoded as AMBI. So you can try reducing the number of syllables, Writing the words out phonetically is a big help. Instead of for 28, instead of writing the numbers uh, 28 next to each other to be writ read as 28, you might have to write out the words 20 and then 8, and that might work. So you're going to have to experiment with some things. Also, recorded natural voice is a lot harder to get encoded as AMB than synth voice, so I'd recommend sticking with the synth. And if you really want to geek out, um, try to use some more advanced scents, like Amazon Poly is one where you have a ton of different voices to choose from, and most importantly, you can control the sampling rate. So knock that sampling rate down to 8,000 hertz instead of the default 32,000 or whatever it is, and that controls the frequency range in that uh, wave file. Actually, Poly is going to output that as an MP3, and then you'll have to convert that to a wave, and then let the radio convert the WAV file to AMBI, but you, you need a, a very limited range in that AMBI encoding, uh, encoded file to be able to successfully encode. So you might have to play around with some things. Another big caveat is that if you assign voice enunciation to both a zone and to the channels within that zone, every time you change a channel in that zone, it's going to announce the zone audio and the channel audio. So that can get kind of annoying. You know, you switch from command one to command two, and it's going to go pipeline command two. Switch back, it'll go pipeline command one. So if you don't want to hear the zone name, every time you switch a channel, then leave the voice enunciation off for the zone and leave it only assigned to the channels. Okay, that should be enough to get you started. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment on this video or feel free to email me at robert.n.talbot at gmail.com and I can help you out. Happy voice enunciation.